You know, I really think you may need to temper the chocolate on this Temper one. the chocolate? I hate tempering chocolate. Hello, I'm Christine, and today I am going to be making my own polymer clay version of Keebler Fudge Stripes Minis. And I am going to be doing it in the style of Claire from Bon Appetit. Of course, the first thing that I need to do is, like Claire, I'm going to read the ingredient list here. So the ingredients are enriched flour, which contains wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, vitamin B1, um, which also is thiamine mononitrate, vitamin B2, riboflavin, folic acid, sugar, vegetable oil, soybean, palm kernel, and palm oil, high fructose corn syrup, cocoa processed with alcohol, whey, and then it contains 2% or less of leavening, baking soda, sodium acid, pyrophosphate, monocalcium phosphate, salt, molasses, soy lecithin, sorbitan triesterate, natural and artificial flavors, contains wheat, milk, and soy ingredients. So, what I have here for my particular polymer clay version is I found some polymer clay that was left over from when I made my um, little polymer clay version of my first squishy makeover. And it had some polymer clay, some brown polymer clay in the white polymer clay. So I'm gonna mix this together. Hopefully I'll get a good um, um, color that will be similar to the color of the cookie. And then I have found a, this glue stick I think has a, a cap, which will work well as a cookie cutter to make the, the, the size of the cookies. Let me go ahead and dig out a cookie here out of the pack. Ooh. See, there's, there's the cookie. So this, this is just about the right size for that. So, um, see, that goes right, right on top of there. I'm going to take a bite of the cookie. And then I'm going to probably um, use some of my clay tools here to make the, um, you know, there's a texture on the top of these cookies. Probably going to use that to make the texture. And then um, I'm going to use um, brown puffy paint for the chocolate. So we'll try that and we'll see how that works out. Well, here are my um, baked cookies. They've actually baked up pretty well. They're fairly solid. Um, but now that I'm comparing them, here's the real cookie here. I'm finding that I'm not real happy with that color. So I'm going to mix up some puffy paint and see if I can match this color better. And, and then we'll paint them.
Okay, so these are dry now and like here's the the cookie, here's the charm. I'm liking the color a little bit better. So now it'll be time to add the chocolate frosting. Okay, so now I've the frosting on the back of the cookies is dry. I'll let you see that like that. And we'll show that in comparison to the real cookie there. And there's the real cookie in there. So now what remains to, to happen is that I need to put these stripes on top. So that should be easy enough to do with the brown puffy paint. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so um, these are my finished charms here, um, and this is the original cookie. Oh, there's somebody over here. I'm gonna have him look at look at this. Come on, come over here. Come here. All right. All right. <clears throat> I'll see. This is the 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 real cookie here, and this is one of the charms. So, what what do you think? Well, I think it's a good thing you can tell the difference. Otherwise, somebody might take a bite out of the charm, and you know, they can break that's, a tooth or something. That's, you don't that's want that true. To happen. Um, and, is there okay. anything you think I should do? Well, let's take a look at that. Uh, hmm, looks convincing enough. You know, I really think you may need to temper the chocolate on this Temper line. the chocolate? I hate tempering chocolate. Oh, excuses, excuses. <laughs> now, that, that's, that's my advice. Well, that's, that's what I, that, I that's, uh, that, that's your advice. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So I guess, I guess I'll just have to move back to square one. Uh, yes, definitely. Okay, all right. 